Hey guys, welcome back to Mukbangin'. I'm Emma. And I'm Jose. And tonight we are doing sort of a ratchet video. I apologize in advance. <laughs> um, but this is just something that I would have made for dinner anyway tonight. We decided to film it. I'm, I feel like I'm kind of coming down with something, so I'm not at my best. Um, but hopefully it'll still be okay. Hopefully I'll catch it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I made turkey burgers tonight for us, and we are having them, uh, as in and out would say, protein style. So with lettuce wraps instead of buns, which, uh, fun fact, when I go to in and out that's how I order mine nine times out of ten anyway, just because I really like all that crunchy iceberg lettuce. I don't. Give me the bun. <laughs> yeah. And then I, we just had some asparagus left over from something I made over the weekend. So we're having some steamed asparagus and I sauteed some mushrooms. I put my mushrooms in my lettuce wrap and Jose has his on the side. And we have in and out sauce because as everyone knows, when you go to in and out you definitely ask for extra spread and you take it home and you hoard it. Um, and then I have mayonnaise to dip my asparagus because I'm a gross human being. And Jose will probably, like, not put anything on his. Uh, and, yeah, he's probably going to put jalapenos on his. I'm probably not. And he has mustard. Not me. She's got American cheese. And I've got pepper jack. As you guys know, I'll, I'll take anything spicy. I'll take uh, heat wherever I can get it. Yep. I'm drinking regular ass water. And I wanted to drink a soda water, but we only have the grapefruit flavor in the fridge. And right now, like, I'm not sure if I can drink a grapefruit um, soda water. I got I got really sick years ago. Um, it was like a stomach flu, and I took grapefruit emergency, or actually it was airborne. It was grapefruit airborne. And it made it so that, like, when I'm not feeling great, I can't have anything grapefruit. Like, it just triggers me <laughs> so i can't have anything great for right now so i'm gonna drink a coke which is obviously not what i need looks bomb it does look bomb there's in and outy sauce if you want it i haven't had a turkey burger in quite some time yeah and i used to have turkey burgers all the time Ugh. this all right look see that in and out sauce not really. Kind of, sort of. All right. I don't know, man. They have a they have a definite like system at In and Out to make these. Definite like system at In and Out to make these like work and like stay together. But I am but a novice. I don't know. This is gonna be this. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is a burrito. That's like a lettuce burrito. Yeah. It's good patties, dude. Yeah, thanks, dude. I don't know how to go about this. <laughs> I'm like standing up. Mmm. <laughs> That's good. Nice and juicy. You can you hear my smacking? Mm. Jose, you're gonna have to put messy eating and big bites <laughs> in this description. And woman who stands because she's trying to get a better <laughs> vantage point while eating. A weird standing mukbang. Mm -hmm. mm. Got some jalapenos. Man. That was good. I did not know if this was going to be that good. It's good. Hella good. Dude, you could put in and out sauce on, like, <laughs> the <laughs> <Sure>. ground. <laughs> it's delicious. So I used to be vegetarian for a nice couple years. And it started off as, like, a goof. At first I was like, well, let's see if I can cut out, like, pork and beef. And I did. And then shortly after, I was like, well, let's cut out chicken. And I did. 
So I would eat for the longest time, just like turkey burgers and seafood. And by seafood, I mean just tuna and anything <laughs> shrimp. Um, but yeah, I would have turkey burgers all the time, and I haven't had one in a long time. This is real juicy, man. Because we told you before, Jose used to work at Benton's. He worked there for like hella long in Oakland. And they have like a big menu, but he's told me that he would like, when he was at work, he would like almost every day order a turkey burger. Yeah. Mm. You shroom these guys. Yeah, they turn out good. Mm. Mm. I have leftover thyme. Again, from something I made over the weekend. So I put that in the mushrooms. Teddy wants to say hi. Yeah, and Teddy's like... Can has turkey burger. Yeah, over the weekend, um, we saw my brother, and my sister, and um, their brand new baby, the little angel that we showed you before, and um, we had I like hosted a brunch for them at my mom's house, and I made quiche. It's really good. It turned out really good. You're gonna have to like make that on one of the videos. Yeah. Oh, I just really made good. it up. It turned out really good. Um, I put asparagus, ham, like chunks of ham, um, and then I put fresh thyme, and I put Gruyere cheese, and it was really bomb. Mmm. I didn't feel like I had much of an appetite before we sat down to eat, but this is delicious. It's on point, man. Mm. I didn't think it was going to be that good. I'm just, I don't know. Like, every time you think about, like, lettuce wraps, you're like, yeah, okay, maybe. But then, you know. That's you not what it, I'm like. You knocked it out of the park. Thanks. I love bread. So Use just this like, in and out. Oh no, that's the good one. So the idea of like not having it kind of like bumps me out, but this is really good. Um, yeah, I don't really care about bread. Nah, man, that's that's a staple. Um, yeah, like I do love carbs. Don't get me wrong. I love rice. And I love pasta. But bread's like whatever. Yeah, often she makes pasta and, you know, I've gotten used to it now, but like, <laughs> it's never bread. And I'm just like, I'm not to say anything. But it just seems like, I don't know, like the, the pasta is the carb, you know? Oh, I get it. And I'm not saying that in like a health conscious kind of way. I'm saying it in like a balanced eater kind of way yeah but uh, but like more about like the flavor and, and culinary experience and not about like counting calories or anything mm. this is bomb sorry do you guys dip your asparagus in mayonnaise or what do you dip your asparagus in or do you not dip it I love asparagus But it's probably also because I love mayonnaise. So. Sorry. Sorry if you guys find mayonnaise gross. He does. So. Um. Never are you, been a fan. For me, I will only buy one kind of mayonnaise. It has to be best foods mayonnaise. Like, I do not buy anything else. I'd rather... And honestly... If y'all have only ever had, like, other mayonnaises and not best foods, 
and you don't like mayonnaise, you should try Best Foods mayonnaise because I, I don't like any of that other stuff either. It just tastes gross. Secondies. Round two. And we're back. I got mushroomies under here. American cheese. And my turkey burg. And then we're going to go in with some onions. Also, do you guys love onions or do you hate onions? Or are you like whatevs? Onions are hella good. Onions are life. Like I could eat... I eat way too much onions on and things. Like, if it has, like, right now, like, look at all the onions I just put on there. And I like onions anyway. Like, raw. Yeah. Grilled, fried yeah. in ring shapes. <laughs> you like them in a house and you like them with a mouse? <laughs> what? Uh, green eggs and ham. Sure. Um, what's that. I gonna say? Oh, yeah. Onions are like really good for you. And so that's part of why I like have no issues with just eating tons of them. Actually, before you start eating, so I'm gonna tell you guys a fun fact about Jose and then I'm gonna put him on the spot. Uh, Jose can sneeze on <laughs> command. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Well, it's kind of gross, but <clears throat> who cares? We're in the trust you tree. Must. Are you guys in the trust tree? Take my two fingers <laughs> and I put them gently in between my nostrils, just so that they're resting there, no pressure. And then I like hum. <laughs> Camera shot. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen him take that long for. Normally, yeah. it's just like one try. Camera shot. It's the weirdest thing, man. If but I could do that, it's the most satisfying thing. I w if I could do that, I wouldn't do anything else. I love sneezing, <laughs> and I can never sneeze. I yeah. never can sneeze. It's like I always lose sneezes. I developed that when I was a youngster. When I was a wee boy, my brother and I decided to figure out how to make ourselves sneeze just because of how enjoyable it is. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, <laughs> what were we talking about? Um, we were just making our secondies. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Picture perfect. Man, that is perfect. So guys, thank you so much. We're up to like a hundred subscribers. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. It's yeah. crazy what Karen can do. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys like that that Mexican food collab. We did. It. It's really fun and really good. Yeah, we always love seeing Karen. The last couple times though. We haven't had enough time with her. It's been like she has to leave to go to work. But Karen works so much, you guys. It's ridiculous. Like, I swear she's Jamaican. <laughs> Teddy didn't like that joke about his people, Mom. Oh, Teddy. He's so cranky. We should have filmed last night. We had like... Chinese food. Well, not really. Like, we just got wonton soup, and then he got chimkin wings, and Teddy was going crazy. I call Teddy uh, meat on the bone Jones, because, like, <laughs> when there's meat on a bone, he's crazy. He, he'll, he like, yell at you. If he had a knife, he would cut a bitch. And it's not like he sees it. He just knows it's around. Mm -hmm. You know? He, like, smells the bone. Mm-hmm. I saw the Joker this weekend, guys. Oh, my God. It was hella good. Mm-hmm. Like, right before we went to um, Carl's Jr. to get um, just, you know, some food before because we hadn't had dinner. So we went. I got the, um, like, one of the new 
um, Impossible Burgers or Beyond, whatever they sell there. I think it's Beyond. Beyond, yeah. Um, we walked in, and um, <clears throat> the, guy, the guy behind the register <laughs> is just like, no, no. A, a guy walked behind us, and he goes to the guy behind the register. Um, good to see you, Chewy. How you doing? With like this deep ass voice. And meanwhile, the guy's like, you know, just barely out of like teenagehood. Yeah. And um, the guy behind the counter like responds in an even deeper voice. He's like, um, <laughs> oh, what's up, man? <laughs> and then they just talk to each other <laughs> in these voices. Yeah, I looked at him and I was like, uh, are they going to use fake voices the whole time? He said that because I was already like, up so, oops, sorry. Jose is a gentleman. He opened the door for me, so I went in first. So when I came in, I heard that guy already talk, like the server guy already talking in that weird voice. And then I heard from over there, like another one. And I was just like, what is happening? So I was already like laughing in my head about it. And then Jose just comes and stands next to me and he goes, Are they going to talk in fake voices the whole time? <laughs> like, it was just so funny. It was like, it was really like it had those had to be fake voices. It was really strange. Mm hmm. It's one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. Yeah. Definitely go see it. We never see movies in the theater. And we usually, like, don't. We usually don't see movies like at all that much because do you want some more of that? Because Jose doesn't like movies. Like it's so weird. I've never met somebody who dislikes movies the way that he does, but he just he's like his point of view is that like most of the time when a movie's over, he's like, I would like those two hours of my life back or like the so yeah. he says something like that. Yeah. Or it's something more like I would like those two hours. <laughs> yeah. It's more like that. But yeah, so... But I'll gamble on, like, documentaries. I'll be like, well, mm -hmm. let's watch it. Um, but I have to be, like, very careful selecting a movie because if I select a movie that he deems as bad, he'll just, like, roast me about it for the rest of our lives. Like, he'll he still talks about when I wanted to watch Ellen DeGeneres is Relatable... Which was funny and enjoyable and relatable. And this guy just thought I was just the stupidest moron for putting that on and that it was not funny at all. I felt like self-conscious about laughing during the movie. Um, but yeah, so we went to my mom's house and she watched Teddy and Bambi while we went to the movies. But it was a great movie. But what's even better, I haven't been to a theater in how long. These new seats, man. They're, like, so comfy and, like, mm -hmm. big, you know? You're not, like, mm -hmm. bumping elbows with anybody. They're great. You're not they're, like, knocking boots with anyone? Yeah. And, like, like recliner chairs. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't know about y'all. <clears throat> But movie theaters, like, are not are not usually that enjoyable for the following reasons. One, they're too cold. Two, um, the seats are not comfortable, and like halfway through, you're like leaning forward in your chair and trying to like stretch your back out, trying to like stretch your back out. Number three, annoying other people in the movie theater. And number four, oh, I always have to go to the bathroom like a thousand times, so I end up having like you can't pause the movie at the movie theater, you know. Those are the reasons I don't like seeing movies in theaters. Those were really good, man. Again, Thanks, man. I didn't know they were going to be. That's, that's fine, dude. All right, bruh. <laughs> For sure, sir. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know they were going to turn out that good. But, damn, she, su she surprises me every time. Um... So, again, thank you guys for watching our videos. Thank you for the um, 100 subscribers. Yeah. And uh, hopefully you guys will keep coming back, uh, liking our videos, and telling your friends about us. Mm -hmm. um, Teddy, for sure, will be back. Um, but yes, we've got uh, a couple videos down the pipeline. <laughs> 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 okay, you guys don't do this after you eat? <laughs>
<laughs> so yes thank you guys once again for watching um thank you guys for joining us uh while we enjoyed our delicious dinner and um and like jose said thanks so much for all your lovable comments and your support um and we surely hope you'll catch us back later in the week or next week because we definitely have plans to be mukbanging <laughs>